I totally committed. To, uh, yeah, to what? Having Getting what, what you, you say, say you want. want. Yeah, cool. Wow, what that a, was amazing. <laughs> really cool. All right, this is Clay Nelson, Clay Nelson Life Balance Hour. The name of the show is Getting What You Say You Want. Before the break, we were talking about Wow, getting what you say you want. That means you have to get committed to have what you say you want. You have to be able to write down what you say you want. You have to be able to ask for help to get to what you say you want. Because what you want, obviously you don't have or you wouldn't want it. And if you don't have it, it's because you need help getting there. Either in commitment or actual actions you take to have what you say you want. So I know it sounds kind of like... Duh, like A plus B equals C. And if it's so easy, how come most of us don't have what we say we want? And how about this? Here's another one. As I've noticed over the, what, 25 years of coaching and all the difference I've made, either with kids or adults or businesses, corporations, whatever, most people who have what they say they want don't teach others how to get it. Why not? Think about that. A lot of them would say, well, it's because I'm enjoying what I got. <laughs> <laughs> it's not selfishness. It's not about I don't want to share. You know, it's just nobody asks them. You know, one of the things I've noticed about professionals, especially successful professionals, if you want to know how they got there, all you got to do is invite them to lunch, ask them the question, how did you get to where you are? And then you eat your sandwich. You don't talk. <laughs> and every, every successful person out there loves to tell their story about how they got to where they are. Now think about this. Also, you want to know how to get someplace you haven't gotten to yet? Find a white hair. Find somebody that's older, smarter, wiser, richer, and more experienced than you and ask them, how do you get to where you are? How do I get from where I am to where I want to be? You realize that most hu human beings in, uh, you know, on the planet uh, respectfully, uh, somebody, another human being, somebody else somewhere, a little bit older, has already done what you're thinking. Now, I realize the patent office hasn't closed, so there are new ideas coming out all the time. But how you get there and what you do and everything else is pretty much the same. All right. So now, getting what you say you want, what is that all about? So what it's all about is, one, being clear about what it is you want. Number two is you have to be able to write down what you want. Now, think about this. If you can write down what you want, you can put it into language. And if you can put what you want into language, you can speak it and tell other people so they can help you get it. Or, get this, you can even, when you put it into the language, you can, you know, write it down and mail it to somebody. So you can be in two places at once. You can mail it to somebody and say, hey, this is what I want. How do I get there? And you can be talking to people at the same time. So it's a duplication of effort. And just think, if you could write it down and write it down in a way where you asked to be contributed to by powerful people, and you sent out 100 letters and 50 of them wrote something back, Wow, you could be in 50 different places at once. And the key, the smart way to get to success is the easier you get there, the better. Duh. All right? If you wear yourself out getting to a level of success that you want, what good is it? Can you hear you? Now, remember this. There's not a $100 bill that I've ever had that jumped out of my wallet and hugged me. Only people did. Understand? Clay, uh, yeah. we got an email in here over the break from Cindy yeah. uh, who, who says, wow, uh, is your show topic perfect? Uh, <laughs> I have a coworker who claims that no one likes her. Yeah. And she put in parentheses, okay, maybe that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cindy. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that, that there are those on our team who are attempting to get her fired, yet she oh doesn't change how she operates. She just complains about it. Uh, how does one deal with a person like that who lives in this victim mentality? Okay, so here you go. And and uh, and I got to be really talking about that earlier. So. Yeah, I got to be really straight now okay look you, you know it's like you can lead a horse to water but you can't make him drink yeah you know and uh, this person has to get that she's a cause for what she's got and if she's just going to sit in it and complain about it then all she's going to get is people walking away and then she gets to be on the freeway with no other cars I mean, you just get to be by yourself, and you're not designed to be by yourself, so it just perpetuates ugliness and uh, not getting what you want and sadness and depression and so on and so forth. So most of the time when there's a problem in relating to another, you know, you can't force somebody to be happy. You have to be happy from the inside out. So it's her choice, and one of the choices she has to make is she going to stay in this job or not. If she's going to stay in the job, then she has to change. And if she's not going to change, you know, uh, you, you can't get mad at her. She, she probably will lose the job, but doesn't mean you don't wait. You know, some people don't learn as fast as others, but they'll learn. 
they'll learn. Sometimes it takes a few months, but they'll learn. So you just got to be patient and wait, and they have to put up with the circumstances or live inside the circumstances they create. Okay, now, before that question, good question, by the way. Uh, before that question, it's all about um, what are some of the tools I use? What do I have to do to actually have what I say I want? Um, it, you know, it's like... It's like the, you have to learn to commit without knowing how. Remember, as a child, you were able to step out there and just go, yeah, I can do it. Get out of my way. You never worried about what you were going to look like, whether you were going to be able to do it or not, or could you do it, or did you know how to do it or anything. You just went out there and did it. You know, we built the moat. And we, <laughs> we, you know, we had the sand pile. We got the water hose. And we had our tools. And we're taking off. And we didn't even know how we were going to build no. the castle. We just built no, it We don't in the know. Sand. And by the way, we don't even know what it's going to look like when we're finished, but we know it's going to be way cool. We're going to win. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now, so what would it be like to be able to live your life as an adult like you lived your life as a child? That means you could still be responsible. You could have a plan. You could be out there dancing in the unknown and absolutely laughing your way all the way to the bank. Can you hear that? And I don't mean about winning the lotto. Okay. A lot of winners aren't necessarily all that happy. So it's not about getting rich. It's all about being with people in a way where you have fun being with them and you have people wanting to know what you're doing. You have people wanting to contribute. And you want people that you can dance with, okay? So number one, first and foremost, if you're going to take some notes on the show, now's the time. All right, here we go. All right, first and foremost, you have to be clear about what you do and don't want for your life. You have to be clear what you do and don't want for the job you have. You have to be clear and complete around what you do and don't want for in the company you run. You have to be, oh, here's a good one. You have to be clear and complete about how you want your relationships. Whoa. That's yeah, a big to, one. Or here's another one, especially at, for folks my age, the white hairs of the world. You have to be clear and complete how you want your physical well being to be. And uh, quite frankly, you have to be clear and complete about what you're committed to do to maintain that. All right? You have to be clear and complete about what's important for you, and you have to be very clear about what's not important. That's number one. Okay? Number two, you have to put what you want for your future into writing. If you can't write it, you can't speak it. And if you can't speak it, one, you can't ask for help to get it, and two, you can't teach people what you're doing and what part they could take in getting you there. You understand? So you have to ask yourself, um, what do I want in terms of my career? What do I want in terms of my profession? Or what do I want? How, what kind of business do I really want to own? And what do I want in terms of my physical f fitness or physical well-being? What do I want in terms of my personal finances? Now, that's a big one, all right? My, everybody's talking about retirement. My gosh, could you just enjoy your 20s and 30s? No worry, retirement will happen. And yeah, you got to save a few bucks and be good to invest. But could you just enjoy that trip instead of planning for the end all the time? All right. What do I want in terms of my education? What do I want in terms of my own personal growth, spiritual growth? What do I want in terms of my relationships? How do I want me to be with my woman? And uh, right now I'm looking at my best part of my whole life. And I like her haircut. And ooh, I could be in a lot of trouble right now. <laughs> Clay, on our, on our way out to the break here, I want to share this quote from Abraham Lincoln who says, I am not bound to win, but I am bound to be true. I am not bound to succeed, but I am bound to live up to what light I have. And I think that kind of right sums up nicely what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, again, cool. let me just say before we go on the break, I am the only person who has a say in how my life turns out. And boy, that is such a true and powerful statement, okay? So how do I want my life to turn out? I actually have a written plan. Now, I've got a plan to go on a break right now. So I'm going to be back in a few minutes. We're going to start talking about planning, how to write things down, how to take care of yourself, how to have fun in your future, and how to enjoy your current. How about that? It's pretty good. So I'm Clay Nelson. This is Clay Nelson Life Balance. How are you listening to uh, KZSB AM 1290? Come on back and let's build a future together.